Hi, this video is question one of the downloadable worksheet on standard form. If you click on the link below in the description, you'll be able to go through to the website. Okay, so um, this particular series of questions deals with standard form. Now what we're saying is, in order to create this number in standard form, we have to have the digits between 1 and 9.999 recurring. So in this particular case, the decimal point at the moment is here, but we want it over here. So it's actually moved in the negative direction, 3.7 times 10 to the power of minus 4. If you're not sure about this, there are a couple of videos on the playlist and you'll be able to have a look at how we've calculated this. Uh, similarly, we're moving the decimal point once, twice, three times because it's 10 to the power of 3, so this would be 8250. Okay, the final one, uh, this is the way that I would generally calculate these, in which case I would separate out the digits and then the standard form element of it. Um, and again, if you go to the playlist, there are some videos on this that you can have a look at. And I'm going to write this as 2.1 times 6, put that into brackets, and that's multiplied by 10 to the 8, oops, times 10 to the power of minus 5. Okay, well 2.1 times 6 is 12.6, okay? And then 10 to the power of 8 times 10 to the power of 5 is the standard form part of it. Well, where we're dealing with indices of numbers, we add them together. So you've got a positive 8 and a negative 5. So you imagine that you're adding those two indices together, well 8 plus minus 5. A plus and a minus means a minus, so it would read as 8 minus 5, which is 3. So 12.6 times 10 to the power of 3. Okay, now these are typically two mark questions. At the moment you've scored one mark because it's not in standard form. You need to put it into standard form by moving this decimal point across one more place, so it's going to be 1.26 times 10 to the power of 4, and that would answer that particular question. I hope that's okay for you. I'm going to move on to question 7 in the next video.